So we asked ChatGPT to make a brownie recipe for us and to compare if the brownie recipe is as good as an actual brownie. We took a box mix brownie and we made that as well. So we're testing out how accurate ChatGPT actually gives its information. I basically vlogged that entire process but it was super chaotic because I made it at like 1am and I ended up sleeping at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Today we're going to be making not just one. <laughs> But two, two batches of brownies. Currently one o'clock. I still don't have a tripod for my camera. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a bunch of books and stack it up and well, use it as my tripod. Homies take the books to the kitchen. I don't know about you, but like this, this setup is really fire. Especially the wow. makeshift tripod. Okay, so since we're making two recipes today, first one is like from scratch. So we need to take the ingredients, put it all together. But the Betty Crocker one is so good and like so easy to make. It takes me less than five minutes to put it together. So I'm gonna do the one from scratch right now. Forgot to write down the recipe. Back in the kitchen, where I belong. Uh -huh. Shut the Let me prep for my recipe book. Okay. One cup butter and two cups sugar. Four eggs. Eggs secured in the bag. I have butterscotch essence. I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> You know what, I think the best thing to do is to like wait out because this exactly isn't accurate. Okay, so I'm done making the batters and they are here and honestly the one that I made looks like chocolate cake and you know, even in chocolate cake, they add like baking powder, baking soda. So I'm not really sure how well this is gonna turn out. But the Betty Crocker one obviously looks like the better brownie batter, but it is in fact triple chocolate brownie. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly how the mathematics work out. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> well, anyone making any judgment, it's not about my baking skills. Like my camera battery died in the middle and a lot of things happened basically. And essentially, I now have a lot of brownies at home and I brought it here to the studio to test if these brownies are actually <clears throat> these brownies are actually brownies or not. We're going to bring in people to test out if this box mix brownie can beat this chat GPT brownie. I already know what the verdict is going to be because I think chat GPT accidentally gave me a chocolate cake recipe because this is nowhere near a brownie. I've already tasted it but I'm going to taste it again because why not? down that feels like a brownie mm -mm. yeah that's a brownie and damn that's so sweet <laughs> that's the box mix brownie <laughs> and i didn't choke on the brownie i choked on the water because you made me laugh <laughs> Put this in the video. <laughs> now on to chat GPT brownie in like quotes. I'm telling you bro, that's just way too much butter. It tastes good and all, but that's a cake. <clears throat> Both of them taste good, like in their own merit, you know. 
This one tastes more like a brownie. That's that's the problem. But I asked ChatGPT to give me a brownie recipe, and it kind of failed me. So this is my personal opinion. We're not going to tell the people who are coming in to figure out which one's the brownie recipe that we took from the box, and we're going to ask them to try and figure out which one's the ChatGPT version and which one's the box version. I'm going to try this first. And I'm going to try this first. This is the This is the cake. 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 This the consistency is much better in this. Uh, but taste wise, I feel this is better. I suppose uh, this is your own recipe and this is chat GPT. Correct? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See you guys. The fifth one is good. Is the box or the one with the chat GPT? Yeah, the cake is good. No, correct. The brownie is good. Okay. So, overall, we had two people guess it right and two people guess it wrong. And honestly, this cake isn't bad. But that is if you look at it as it is a cake, not a brownie. This cake is great. I love how it tastes. It's really nice and all of that, but it's not exactly a brownie. It's not a brownie, okay? Whereas the brownie that I took from the box as such, that was actually a proper brownie mix. So overall, what I'm trying to convey with this video is that some of the stuff that ChatGPT does like give us, it's not exactly reliable per se. So would I recommend you guys to pick up your recipes from ChatGPT? No, maybe just go ask your friend who makes really good brownies to share their recipe with you. There are multiple videos on YouTube and people who teach you how to make good brownies. Maybe just don't blindly follow the recipe that the AI gives you because, well, didn't, didn't go out great for me. That's it for today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!